Welcome to the Sun and Fun 2021 Quick Take Episodes. Well, good morning, Brian. So let me give you a quick introduction to Dynon. I'm Robert Hamilton. I'm the president at Dynon. We're located up in the Northwest with our main facility near Seattle, Washington, and then a second uh, facility down in Oregon. Our mission in life is to make innovative, high quality avionics uh, that, that's affordable for everybody to go fly. That's what we do. Um, in this case, this is a complete panel of Dynon equipment. Typically includes a primary flight display, engine monitoring, and then navigation, plus comm radio, and various interface controls. One of the things that Dynon is known for is just having the, the best uh, user interface in the business, and that's what we're always striving to do, is to make it easy and obvious to use. So, besides our main HDX, we call it, HDX Skyview displays, we also have some other models, including a brand under the name Advanced, which is essentially the same hardware behind the scene, but a different user interface for a slightly different audience. And then we have some uh, equipment, which again, to be in the affordable range, is just very basic, simple flight instruments. Uh, if you're looking to make, be it as affordable as possible in a simple VFR aircraft. And then finally, this is uh, one that our customers came up with. Uh, over the years, uh, customers asked us, why don't you take your equipment and put it on a Velcro backing so they can put it up on their panel without having to do the installation for a variety of reasons. So we came up with something called the, uh, internally we called it the Velcro EFAS, which is a portable EFAS. It has essentially the same electronics as our bigger equipment, uh, but it's totally portable, total, totally mountable. Um, one innovative thing there is that we have a little snap device so that with, with only your fingers you can install it into an existing three and an eighth inch hole. And it's just that easy to snap in. Well, you can plug it into your cigarette lighter and it has a backup battery internal that will last for four or more hours. Um, again, the, the uh, lower, lower cost, what we call the SE, has only the primary flight display and engine monitoring without the navigation. Uh, a lot of people like to use their iPad in a, in a low-cost aircraft, and it's just a lower-cost way to do it. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics, Airworks, AirTech Coatings. These sponsors make all of this original aviation content possible. So I invite you after this video to check out the links below and say hello to our sponsors. Tell them you found them here on the Experimental Aircraft Channel. As far as price, I do talk about affordability a lot. At the very lowest end is our pocket panel, which lists for $9.95, although some of our dealers will uh, sell it for a little bit less. And then a complete Skyview SE system, uh, it will run about uh, five or $6,000 for a complete system for your aircraft. And then up to a complete HDX panel. Typically with everything, and we, we don't try to, you know, we try to be really honest about all the wiring. We tell you everything that goes into it. They typically will run about $20,000 with absolutely everything in it. Um, and then if you want to add a GPS navigator, that's about another $10,000. Is that for the dual panel? That's a du complete dual panel. Everything you'd see here uh, with all the various components, all the various uh, displays, two 10-inch displays, comm radio, transponder, autopilot system, everything, it, it's uh, under $20,000. All right, Robert, I understand you all have uh, a nice option for either the DIY uh, aircraft builder or even 
just the, the basic installer to speed things along. Explain the wiring part of it. Yeah, so when we, were, when we started the company 21 years ago, we realized that installers, uh, experimental aircraft builders, they, they love putting things together themselves, uh, but wiring is sometimes difficult. And so what, very early on, we realized that by making the wiring as absolutely simple as possible with pre-made harnesses, everything color-coded, that we could just make it really simple for, for builders to put together and have trust in their system. So this is an actual Skyview HDX system here. Uh, even though we have it uh, on a demo panel, it's really exactly the same as what would be inside your aircraft. All these white cables here are exactly the way they come from our factory. We make these, uh, these are the primary data cables. Uh, and they come anywhere from six inches to 40 feet. And basically just plug and play. One comment about these, we have probably the most reliable and redundant system on the market. Each of these white cables holds two data sets and two power sets. Any one of those could be open or shorted and the system is smart enough to know how to um, continue working uh, even with one of those uh, data sets or power lines, uh, again, broken or grounded, it will tell you that there's a fault, but the plane will keep working, the avionics will keep working, and give you a chance to, to repair something the next time. So again, really high reliability and redundancy. So everything you see here is just like you'd see it in the aircraft. We have a uh, comm radio, transponder, this is a primary what we call ADA HARS, which is uh, um, uh, air data attitude heading reference system. So it has all your uh, accelerometers and gyros, so as it moves it tells you where you are in space. It has your pressure sensors for uh, pitot-static and angle of attack, um, and you, it has a magnetometer in it. So that tells you where you are in space. And then right here is a GPS receiver. One of the things about our GPS receiver, it's actually in the puck, which makes installation, again, we're all about making installation really quick and efficient. Uh, you don't have to run a coax up to the, to, the, uh, to the puck. It's actually just a data cable and power line that runs down. Makes it a lot easier to route, easier to configure, and gets rid of all those annoying connections between coax cables that are, is a common point of failure. Uh, here we have a backup battery that will keep your system running for an hour even with a uh, electrical alternator fault for example. Your avionics will keep going for an hour. And then this is your engine monitoring system which uh, connects to all of the temperature probes and the oil pressure and, and such. All the, all the uh, temperature, well, all the sensors for the engine all feed into here. Robert, one of the things I'm hearing about a lot is uh, breakers have gone away and moved to a solid state. Can you explain how that system works and how it's safe? Yeah, this is one of our newer uh, innovations, continuing on the theme of making things easy to set up and safer and more reliable. We came out with a red box that's called the Advanced Con Control Module. It has a couple things that just make it really simple. Number one, all the connectors are there. They're all labeled, so essentially, this is where the plug and play comes in. You just plug the cables in, and you're done. And then second, uh, this box has a digital circuit breakers in it that on your front panel, you can look and see exactly the status of all of your circuitry, and if you have a, a fault or anything, you can very quickly identify where and how without a big rack of uh, circuit breakers or fuses somewhere in the aircraft. So if you, if you compare it to a breaker, if it pops, is it resettable or how do you uh, attack that situation? Yeah, it give, uh, number one, the most important thing it gives you is the information about what's going on. And yes, you, you can reset. Um, there's, you know, depending on what the cause is and what, what it is that, that tripped, um, that may or may not be the right thing to do. But it gives you the information about what's going on. 
All right, Robert, thanks for this quick take tour through Dynon. Tell everybody where they can get in touch with you and contact you for more information. Yeah, we're uh, obviously online at dynonavionics.com or dynon.aero, either one. Uh, uh, that's the easiest way to find us, find our phone numbers if you want to call us. We have an excellent tech support group that's ready to answer your questions, as well as a really knowledgeable sales team that can answer any questions about installation, what equipment you might need. We also have some excellent dealers out there, uh, like Aircraft Spruce. Uh, they're, they're good at helping you uh, figure out panels. Uh, for the uh, certified market, we of course now have certified products. Uh, we have a series of Dynon authorized installation centers which we can direct you to if you have a certified airplane and they can help you uh, um, put it into your certified aircraft. We're certified in over 800 single engine aircraft types of, types of aircraft. Um, or if um, uh, you have a favorite A&P IA that you want to help uh, install in your aircraft Give us a call. We can sell directly to you if you have an AMP that can help you do a uh, installation on a certified aircraft. So, easiest way to get a hold of us: go to our website, dynon.aero, and you can find out all about us. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out our brand new website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.